What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft Mod Block Spotlight tutorial. Today that is on the Vibration Chamber from AE2 or Applied Energistics 2. So as always guys, real quick down below I do have a featured subscriber as well as a featured comment within this video. So be sure to go check them out guys, show them some love. Let's get into this. Enjoy. <music> Alright guys, so, as always, uh, crafting it is always important, so I like to usually show that first. So let's go ahead and show you real quick how you craft the vibration chamber, and that is going to be uh, iron ingots all around the edges, and of course it is shaped crafting, so it has to be exactly like this, with a furnace in the middle, and then an energy acceptor at the bottom, and that is going to give us a beautiful vibration chamber, as pictured there, or here, and uh, you can use more than one if you need to but essentially this will make AE per tick which is applied energistics form of energy or power if you're not using any other compatible or power mod you're gonna need to essentially get a vibration chamber to power your ME controller so as you guys remember I've always been using energy cells to power that uh, a that ME controller but today I'm gonna show you how we can power uh, the ME controller with uh, vibration chamber so uh, let's go ahead and grab some coal if I can spell it <laughs> uh, boom there we go so we're gonna go ahead and throw 64 stacks of coal in there and you can see here now depending on how much storage you you have available will depend on how many ticks this will do it'll, it'll go from 1 to 10 uh, and then I'm pretty sure down to nothing if you have nowhere else to store power so right now I have a dense energy cell from applied energistics 2 that is taking in all the power and then if I was to come over the top, like that, it has power. Now we have an ME controller with power. So if we were to connect our ME network uh, blocks, like an ME drive, a crafting terminal, a regular terminal, they would all have the ability to be powered. I could have done it separately as well. I could have went like this, then, then it would have power. It does not matter where it goes on the block. I could have went down, around, and up like that and had power. So there's multiple multiple ways to do that. Um, so there's no there's no right or wrong way. That's the easiest way. It's the most cheapest. It'll only cost you one cable. Um, but that's the vibration chamber. It essentially takes burnable items and turns it into uh, applied energistics power, which I believe the ME controller uses one AE per tick. So as you can see, we're going tenfold. Uh, so once this dense energy cell fills up. Um, then, then we'll need to get another one. But as you can see here, a dense energy cell will hold uh, 16 million AE at full. So that is a lot of power. It is just an unridiculous amount of power <laughs> storage. Um, but now the more blocks you add on to your ME network, the more AE2 you do need uh, or power. Uh, each block does cost power. So it all goes through the controller. Um, so yeah. That's the vibration chamber, guys, in a nutshell. <laughs> Used to make um, raw forms of power. It's it's pretty much like a Sterling generator for Ender I.O., uh, like a steam dynamo, essentially, kind of thing from thermal expansion. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you found it helpful, smash that like button, guys. Share it with your friends and family. And if you're not a part of this community already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I have hundreds of videos on the channel. Be sure to go check one out. Take care.